Hi guys, Cynthia here. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and all that stuff, that bell, all of it. So I know you guys asked for an updated makeup collection. I got rid of a lot of makeup actually. So I feel really good about the collection I currently have. I still feel like I can let go of more stuff, but you know, like there's just certain items you just have to keep. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around. This is gonna be a pretty long video because even though I did get rid of a lot of stuff, obviously I still have too much stuff. So if you need a drink, a chip, a cracker, a cheese, I don't know, you know what I mean. Get a snack if you need it. But yeah, so let's, uh, let's go around and do this. So I just want you to know this is gonna be pretty in depth. Like I'm just not gonna open a drawer and be like this, 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 if I might open a thing or two. So it's gonna be a pretty decent video lengthwise. So. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Oh. Okay, so this is just the overview of my makeup set area section area, same thing, whatever, right? So um, it's still in my bedroom. We do have a guest room, but I decided to keep it as a guest room. I thought about doing half of it in my beauty space and then half a guest room, but we do have a lot of people over all the time and I'm pretty sure you guys can understand not wanting <laughs> your stuff to constantly be looked or touched by your guest. And a lot of people asked about this piece of furniture. Um, I actually got this piece of furniture from um, Home Goods as well. A lot of my stuff is Home Goods and Marshalls. And um, this was actually really affordable. It was only $80, which is very shocking. Um, and it doesn't have I can't, uh, I don't know the brand name, but this is the tag that was on it. So I'm pretty sure you guys see these like all over um, those stores, Marshalls and Home Goods because, you know, they have like this brand everywhere. But yes, and then the rest of the stuff, all of the acrylic, the shelves, all of that, everything was Home Goods. All right, so I'm just going to begin here because it's like the smallest section. Um, I kept my Artiste brushes, even though I feel, and I will continue to say, even though they're gorgeous, one of my biggest regrets, <laughs> so expensive, don't use them. I do love what they look like aesthetically, but you know, it's ex <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> and then I have these really cute like Too Faced brushes, which I really like. I have um, a Laura Mercier powder. I have the Laura Mercier mini powder. This is just a translucent powder. I have the Forever. Um, Makeup Forever one. Um, I have, what's this one? Cover Effects. And then I have an It Cosmetics. And then this one is the Givenchy. And this one's actually really nice, guys. It's like one that has like the four colors, you know? It's really, really nice. But I don't, I'm like a creature of habit. Once I find something I really love, it's hard for me to like sway around it. So you'll see I have a bunch of powders that are just like sitting sitting ducks. I have the giant Edward Best lipstick, which I really love. I think it's the cutest idea. Oh, I love this, guys. I scoured the earth for this <laughs> NARS um, Stephen Klein like bullet. When I saw it came out, I literally searched, this is when I lived in New York City, and thankfully they had a NARS store on Fifth Avenue, and sure enough, they had it, and they had like two left, and I called, I said, hold one, I'm coming in like 45 minutes. I literally took a cab just so I can get it as quick as possible. <laughs> so yeah, um, do I have any other makeup? Yes, I have this La Mer powder down here. I actually really like it, but, um, and this one is the translucent powder. Uh, but again, it's super full because I don't really use it. This is a Chanel powder, but that's like a body powder. Um, and I actually keep that because my Aunt Shirley, um, it used to be hers. And um, <laughs> we used to call each other soul sisters because we both love shoes so much. And so a lot of, uh, she gave me a lot of stuff. And so she has passed. And um, yeah, so I just like to keep that there. Uh, okay, moving on because it's not makeup. <laughs> Down here I have um, another regret. <laughs> which is those brushes from Morphe. Super big regret, don't love that. Um, I'm gonna quickly go through bottom to top and then I'll tell you what's all in here because I wanna show you certain things. So down here I have a lot of my brushes and if you guys are wondering where I get these awesome, like I said, anything that you see I got from Home Goods. This is from the bathroom section. I absolutely love the cylinder. <laughs> Look how thick the acrylic is. I have two of those dying for them. I love it. And back there I have like my like 
every brush I, you know, all the brushes that are not gold or silver or pink. So, cause I kind of like, you know, for um, video aesthetics and then all my cords. <laughs> Then I have a container of beauty booty blenders. I said <laughs> beauty blenders. I have um, my Movado watch. And then I have this Ted Baker bag, which I love, but it's filled with my sunglasses. So pretty cool, pretty good idea. All right, so I'm gonna go through. Let me just move my chair so that I can sit. I'm gonna go through what I have and these things here. All right, guys, so I situated you guys so that we could kind of see each other. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so the these are just gonna be the things that were on that very top shelf. Um, this Chanel uh, powder that I showed you guys in my last video that I bought, this is the powder universal, it says, um, Libre. So it's just the, it's exactly what it says. <laughs> anyway, so first I have a lot of my high end, super dusty. Keeping it real, guys. Uh, a lot of my high-end stuff that I like to keep out and look at all the time. First thing is one of my favorite things. This was like their holiday. Ah, sorry, guys. I just kicked that. Yikes. Sorry about that. Um, this was like their holiday or their, not holiday, but like, you know, like they do a limited thing. Everyone does. Um, but this is the Le Beige, and this is in uh, duo number one. And this is supposed to give you like a healthy glow, but I really like Chanel because of the cute little like mirror that it comes with. I mean, not mirror, sorry, the little brush. Super cute, brush is good for nothing, but I just like the idea of it. Uh, but let me just show you the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. I did try this, um, not enough because I was afraid <laughs> it's so dumb, you know, like to have makeup as like a, uh, I guess a collection, right? <laughs> That's what people do. But this is so beautiful. I'm pretty sure they still have it. I don't know, I couldn't, I, I don't know. But I just remember when it came out for that year, I was like, mine, loved it. Um, the next thing I have here, this is the Code Coco. Ooh, check her out. So beautiful. Again, I used it once, but I was like afraid of like, using it <laughs> oh my god i have problems clearly so next i have this beautiful blush let me just show you the back so you guys can see the name and all of that um if you want to screenshot it or something because my pronunciation of french is just not a thing um but look at i mean look how look at their packaging how cute is their packaging where they have a cute little brush and the blush oh my gosh so this blush um off the top that's okay <laughs> it's such a beautiful color i really oh, it's just so pretty i tried it once just once everything is pretty much once some things maybe twice but all right next i have an eyeshadow chanel palette this is um less for ombres that's what it says <laughs> and um look at this gorgeousness um look at how pretty that is Ooh. Ooh, it's just, it's pretty much two golds, a metallic brown, and then like a beautiful pearlescent white. Um, you guys can hear the train? Cool. Um, and this is just really pretty. They're all shimmer shades, so I just, it's not practical, but still really pretty. Um, next, I have, this is my Burberry, and this is the number two. This is called Nude Gold. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. Oh! It is their highlight. Remember they had that like holiday highlight? I don't know if you guys can see. There it is, the engravement where it's like, um, I don't know. There it goes. They have like this really pretty flower thing. Um, that was all right. I never used it. I think I used to try it once, maybe. Um, then I have an hourglass. Uh, what is this? This is the ambient and brilliant strobe light. Um, I don't know why. Oh, you know what? I used to like putting this under my eye. Oh, that's pretty. Like, oh, that's actually really pretty. Do you guys see that? Ooh, ooh, ooh that's really pretty. All right, I gotta start using certain things. This is the Tom Ford, and this is a cheek color in four in the color Savage. Oh, guys, that 
is stunning. I have a lot of this kind of color though. <laughs> then I have, um, this is another Tom Ford. And I think this is a duo. Yeah, this is a sheer highlighting duo and this is in Reflective Guilt. Is it guilt? Or... Yeah, it's guilt. Oh, stunning. Can you guys see that? Oh my lands. It's hard because the light is reflecting off the gold, but oh yeah, that's pretty. Ooh -wee. stunning. Love that. This is another Chanel holiday collection. This was, look at that, look at that, how pretty that is. Uh, Mark got me this, I believe. Yeah, this is the, uh, the De Leon. This is a lion. Look, guys, just, just wait a sec. You see the lion oh my god do you see that lion oh that's so pretty let's 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 watch it oh man he's probably like you never used it yeah i don't i like to connect collect first of all let's see what this looks like oh mama oh mama 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 mia that's pretty super shiny i love that all right then the next couple of items are uh Legendary Muse, and this is, is this Legendary Muse? Is that what it's called? Yes, and this is a Charlotte Tilbury quadrant, just like pinks and golds. And why do um, high-end, if you guys know the answer, that would be great to know. Why do high-end companies make like shimmer and only shimmer shades? I think that's so weird. Like where they make quads of just shimmer. Like that's strange, isn't it? This one is called the uh, Vintage Vamp. This one's really also very pretty. Um, but again, a lot of it is shimmer. Then we have the Rebel. Oh, yeah. This one is stunning. This is like good for holiday. You know what I'm saying? Holiday. Then I have here, I have the, I don't know what this is. This is a Givenchy palette. I don't know. What is it? Oh, this is an eyeshadow. Oh dear. What color is it? I don't see the color at the bottom. Yikes, but it's got the two little brushes. This is really pretty. Um, so cute. Again, all shimmers, man. High-end people. Ooh, do rich people only wear shimmers on their eyes? I find that hard to believe. Let me call a rich person and be like, hi, do you only wear shimmers? <laughs> if you're rich. Tell me down below why all high-end stuff is shimmers. Oh, this is the Edward Bess. Oh, so pretty. Look at that wave of gorgeous blush. And it's got like highlight with it. Oh, it's just stunning. I used it once. And then I was like, oh my God, I don't want this. this. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin it. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Oh God, I got to start enjoying my collection, right? Um, don't we all though? This is so old. This is my first Givenchy purchase ever. This is like a bronzing highlighter. <laughs> it's so old. They still sell this actually though. This is in the number four. Yeah, this is number four. They still have these. But as you can see, I never use it. I just, it's my first high end like oh, splurgy wurgy. And then this is another Tom Ford Sheer Cheek Duo in uh, by Coastal is the name. Oh, and this one's just a little bit more like uh, darker than the other two that I showed you guys, but it's so pretty. Oh, I gotta start using this stuff. All right, let me put this away. So right here, I have another one of those trays, which I love these trays. They're like, first of all, they're really pretty. And secondly, like then you can display your stuff, but then it keeps it all like together, which I love. First thing is this by Charlotte Tilbury. I bought it because of the packaging. I'm sorry to say it, but I did. This is the Dreamy Glow Highlighter. It's just like, it's more of like an illuminating powder where it's not like gonna give you like that bam. It's like, ouch. <laughs> it's like the ad adult, like what an adult would use to highlight with. You know what I mean? It's like really, it's just undertone pinky, like nothing crazy. But I loved, loved that. I mean, don't you love that? I love that. That's why she's in the front. Then this, one of my other regrets, this is the Lancome My Prism Pastel Highlighter. Um, when I first saw this being advertised, I thought that they were all together and it was gonna be pretty and you can swirl it and do all that cool stuff. Nope, it, it was not. They're all little tiny individually 
uh, packaged. And I think, I guess that's cute. Like if you want to travel and you're like, I just want to have a purple highlight, then that's cute. But <sighs> no, you know, it's just silly. Uh, these are my favorites. Both of these actually Mark bought me. These are, this is the Dior Air Nude and this is three and this is two. And um, two is what I'm wearing now, which I really love. Um, and you can tell I love it. Like, look at look at the abuse it's seen. I mean, like, this guy is gross. Do you see that? Just nasty. Hold on, let me lower the lighting so you can see how gross it is. Ooh, it's like a Halloween movie. <laughs> you know? Um, and then let me just keep the lights slow so you can see how dirty, how not dirty, but how... <laughs> This one is, this one, I have hit pan. I'm so proud of myself. This one is in the number two. I do love them, and um, I don't feel as guilty using Dior. <laughs> so stupid, right? Um, then this is a Guerlain, and this is so beautiful. This is a Terracotta Four Seasons. This is an eight ebony. <sighs> Let me show you the gorgeousness of it all. Shut your face. Shut your face. <laughs> How pretty is that? Love that. Love that. This I have never used, but I bought it. And this is the Bronze Goddess Heat Wave. And this is Estee Lauder, I believe. Is it? Wait, who is it? Yeah, Estee Lauder. Yay, I was right. Huh. Part of myself, so cute, right? The packaging, shut up, so cute. Only problem with packaging is how do you open it? I don't know how to, oh, there it goes. I don't know how to open it half the time. Check out that baby. You, oh my God, that is so stunning. And it is a beautiful, beautiful highlight, like really pretty. Um, that was the, the Lion Chanel. Let me put it here. Boom, dang, dang girl, what's your name? That's pretty, right? <laughs> then I have this, this is, I also use this for, uh, this is Ambient Radiant Light. I put the, used to put this under my eyes a lot. Um, as you can see, let me lower the lights. You can see how, oh, wrong way. <laughs> so you can see how much I've used it. It's got like a dent. It's like been loved. And it's so funny. I, I started using this because what is her name? What's her name? Jacqueline Hill I used to use it all the time and I wanted to try it and, and I love it. So this is a airbrush flawless finish and this is in the number three. That is Pan City. Hello, but there's enough around. So I'm going to keep using it. Um, until I buy a new one. All right. Oh gosh, I'm hitting everything. All right, I'm going to reverse it so that you guys can now look inside of my tower. I love this tower. All right, it is tower time. So up here I have my pretty mirror that Mark bought me for Christmas. It's dirty because I use it every day. At least you know that. Um, up here I have um, a bunch of, oh yeah, this is my 20th anniversary Lorac collection um you guys know i have like the lips, lipstick collection up there i have it came it was really awesome it came in a box and it came with all of the glosses um and then i have uh what are what is this oh this is mac this is uh makeup forever this is vince camuto i have some color pops back here what are these what is this what is this oh these are the pat mcgrath ones um i have like two little mini lipsticks there but as you can see, they're just a bunch of glosses on the top. Most of them being a lot because of that collection. Don't love glosses, but you know. Next section is my favorite section. This is my liquid lipstick section or my mini lipstick section. Then I have a lot of my Kat Von D. She's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks um, because it stays on and I like that she makes little because um, liquid lipsticks for me, especially like they dry out quickly and um, I just think it's wasteful to buy a giant one. And then I have, I have two, do I have two? I thought I had two. I have two Jeffree Star ones. This is actually one of my favorite reds ever. Like it is dead on. Um, this is in the color red rock. Here I have all of my lip liners and I have a sharpener. Most of my lip liners are LA, girl because first they're twist ups which I really like and secondly they're super affordable which I also really like any ones that are like really like um what's this one is this one what who makes this you're pretty I don't know who this is oh of course mac so some of them I have are mac some of them like I have do I have any fancy ones no fancy oh sometimes I have um Milani but 
most of the time they're really affordable ones because I just don't, ooh, I was looking for you, my eyebrow pencil. Um, yeah, I like them cheap because it's just better off that way. And sometimes I get like these Marc Jacob ones, like, you know, you get them in like a set of something. So um, that's the only reason why I have nice ones, <laughs> like fancy ones, but really lip liners, you eat them, you know, <laughs> and you wipe them off when you're like eating. <laughs> On this one, oops. On this one here, on this one, in this one, I have this, which I have to go to do it. My best friend, Nathan, he got me this thing. Um, it's uh, from Bite Beauty. In, you go to New York City, because I used to live there. <laughs> and um, you can create your own lipstick. And I thought that was really cool. And I kind of want to do it, like if I get married, create my own shade for my wedding day. Like, wouldn't that be really nice? And then the the name of it could be like the day of my wedding. How cute is that, right? But dang, ain't nobody getting married around here. Anyway, so... Um, these are my Chanel's. These are their shadows. And this one is in the color. Uh, hold on, guys. I can't see. This is in Rouge Noir. It is so pretty. Let me just open this for you guys because I just want you to get a gander. Mm, oh, my lands. Uh, I want to collect them all, but uh, mama, mama's not spending money like she used to because uh, house bills, student loans, um, and also you know life <laughs> so and then I have what is this one this one oh my god this one is stunning checker double decker she is so gorgeous just an ice ice shimmer and you can see there I have like a gold Charlotte Tilbury a gorgeous green Charlotte Tilbury I have some of those Kevin Aquan I think I collected them all but these are stunning and I bought them all they were all like ten dollars that's why I bought them that's why I have them all otherwise I wouldn't um then I have like a brow thing from Anastasia and some more brow junk and this one I have oh that was squaker I have uh this Sonia Kushuk like eye cajole thing I have some eyeliners in here um yeah not very many I have like mini um mascaras too because I like to use those instead of the big ones these are really beautiful just oh I have another sharpener uh I keep like my one for my lips I went for my eyes. They have to be separate. These are really pretty. These are from Judy. Oh, they almost broke. <laughs> They're um, eyeliners. This is in the brown and this is in the black. So pretty um, and so easy to use. And it came with a really cute brush, which I really like. Then down here, the squeak of it all, guys, yikes, is um, eyebrow stuff and some more, um, uh, what are these called? Mascaras. Um, but yeah, mostly, oh, and then I have like extra applicators that I think I took from Sephora. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of mascara. That's it, really. Things for your eyes, eyelash stuff, eyebrow stuff. Um, that is it for my awesome tower. Let me put my lipstick thing back in here. Then I'm gonna pan up and show you guys. I got this brush collection from Sephora like eight, 10 plus years ago. And that was, I think, when my acrylic obsession started. She is stunning. She's beauty, she's grace. <laughs> this is called a uh, half doll and she is made in Germany. Uh, Mark bought her for me. I collect like creepy little dolls. They're in my sunroom. You'll see that eventually if I do a house tour. Let me know if you wanna see my creepy dolls. But I like them. Um, over here, uh, panning on, I have two liquid lipsticks by Smashbox. Um, which I really enjoy. I have, this one is a Dior. Uh, then I have all of my, I don't know what this one is down here. What is this? Oh, this is the Buxom. And I think this was like the Dolly Parton collection or the special, I don't know. But these are all the Lorac 20 year ones. And then I have some uh, Lime Crime, just two colors. This is a really cool set. Um, this is... Julie Hewitt, and this was just like a trio of like really beautiful colors. And then um, I got rid of so much so much of my lipstick collection, guys. I don't know if you remember, but I had that giant tower um, of lipstick, which I kind of want to give away. Let me know if I should hold it. Give it's so silly to just give away one thing, but let me know if that's fine. If no one would care. I kind of want to give rid of that tower of lipstick. It's like a spinning one. You guys remember? Anyway, so here I have this is the little lipstick that uh, American Woman one from NARS that I got. Then I have the entire BH Cosmetics and this is the um, 
I don't know, but it was like a whole set. <laughs> but they're all like crazy colors, which I really like. I have this beautiful um, NARS, NARS, this is not NARS, this is Melt Cosmetics. This is like the rose one. Um, I have the limited edition Minnie Mouse one by Sephora, which I really like. Uh, let, me, let me get rid of this light because I feel like it's ruining our day. Um, then I have this one. This is just a bare minerals, minerals one. These two are really pretty. This is the um, exclusive collection. And this, who makes this? Um, L'Oreal. I really like those two colors. They're beautiful. Uh, this is a white lipstick because I never had one before. I never used that one either, but I just thought it was cool to have. And then, then my next couple of favorites, these are the Star Wars. Um, oh, actually, no, this one's a La Mascua. Oh, this is a pretty one. What color is this? This is Un Underworld. Do, 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 do. Look at that pretty. It's like an iridescent purple. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Um, anyway, so then I have um, all of the Star Wars collection that CoverGirl came out with because I... I don't know. It was like one of those weird things where um, I had to have them never use them. See, I got them for $5.94. <laughs> I was like, yes, steal. But yeah, really pretty. I just wanted to have them all. Then I have this Flower Beauty one. I love this one. This was in the color T-Rose. Remember, I had the whole collection. I got rid of them, <laughs> except for that one. This is the Dolce, can you see it? Dolce Diva. Um, and this is gorgeous. Check her out. I can, it's hard to do anything one-handed, but she is she's really pretty. I really love NARS. NARS does a good job with everything, in my opinion. Um, and I love that about their makeup. This is a face beauty. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, moving on over, I have this. This is my entire MAC collection. Um, some trolls, some Selena, some um, what is her name? Mariah Carey, uh, just a bunch of like, when they have like a really cool, uh, what you call it, like a limited edition one, I like to get those. Um, I wanted to get the Patricia one, you know the Patricia? Um, I love her, she's on YouTube, I love her so much. Um, but it was like, I don't know if it was in the US, it was like she's from UK, so I was just like, where is it girl? Anyway, moving on. Uh, I'm gonna move on to my wooden section here. This is just more high-end lipsticks. This is a beautiful lipstick that my two friends gave me, Elise and Jillian, and it is it is stunning beyond belief, guys, beyond belief. Uh, I have two Marc Jacobs, love those. I have three Charlotte Tilburys. These are some of my favorite lipsticks, these Olivia Palermo ones. Then I have these really cute limited edition um, YSLs, which I love. And then in here, guys, check out this cute little, what? How cute. Like, you're hiding stuff? Yeah. Oh my god, did you see Mark's sweater on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> so, in here, I just have, like, some weird face stuff. I have my hair cutting shears, uh, because sometimes a girl's gotta split in and she gotta get it out. Um, and then I have, like, a pair of clippers. I have some of these simple things, which I'm trying to, so I have a few of those left. I'm going to use them all. And then I asked for Christmas, um, like the reusable face wipes, because I feel like I, as a beauty community, we use a lot of them. So yeah, so I want to get rid of that, um, that habit. Here is what I have for foundations. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had about 50 foundations that were never opened. One of them is sitting here and it's never been opened and it's dusty. You saw my fingerprint? That is bad, girl, what? That's how you know I don't use it. Um, but it is a beautiful color. So I have, um, or it matches me beautifully and I know that people love it, but like because it's an aerosol can, I'm afraid of, uh, I am afraid of like wasting it all. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take it out of the box, right? Yeah, let's do it. So. Um, this is a Dior, the Air Flash, and this is in, don't know the color, 501. It's actually perfect skin color, but I'm just, a, it's just so expensive, and I want to fall in love with something I can't afford all the time, which is everything, everything I have. <laughs> anyway, so then I have the Chanel. Um, this is a really beautiful foundation. It's a little light, but when I mix it, I like to mix it with my Marc Jacobs. 
Um, and this is in the color 70 beige. I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus camera, focus, focus. There we go. 70 beige. The only problem with this um, is that it smells like, like perfume. It's like too much. One of my favorite foundations is the Magic Foundation um, by uh, What's Her Face? Her, Charlotte Silverate. She came up with another one. I want to try it. I just want to make sure that it coincides with the actual colors. Like, like say it's like the other foundation. I hope it works or this color is the same. I, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. I talk too much. But this is really pretty. Obviously, one of my favorites. This is like, I use this almost every single day. I mix it with this one. I mix it with this one. I use it only in the summer by itself, which I really, really love. Super high coverage. Really beautiful. My favorite. This is in the Cocoa Light color. And um, it's just one of my favorites. Like, just love it so much this is a uh, smashbox baby cream i've been using this forever and um, it is in the color dark and i really like it it's good for like summertime um this is also one of my favorite foundations almost gone this is in uh 4.0 it's also a beautiful foundation good for pictures if you ask me this is Ilamasqua, and this is in, oh, sorry, not in, this is 240. This is okay. It's just super thick. Like, I'm talking, she's a thick, you know, she's thickens. Then I have a bunch of mini um, primers uh, that I haven't touched. Then I have these two lipsticks. This is a Dior. This is, let's look at this color. I bought it because it was, ooh, oh, she almost fell. I bought it because it was like a limited edition. So pretty, right? Purple, I gotta get into it. I gotta start wearing lipsticks. It's just hard, cause like, like I said, all you do is eat them, you know what I mean? So, and then I got this one. I got this one because again, it was limited edition and it had this beautiful like leather floral print that I had to have in my life. I should really put it up there with my other lipsticks. Yes, yes, you look pretty there, girl. Yeah, how cute, we'll keep you there. Um, over here, I have this. I literally bought this because of the packaging. Um, this is their, uh, what is this this is their meteorites in gold all right so this is her opened up it's pretty it's just like a highlight um girl Aid is known for being super fragrant so it smells like really really strong but it's really pretty i have this really pretty mark jacobs like deodorant highlighter I don't know why I have any liquid highlighters. I don't really like using them. I have the Marc Jacobs one down here. This is one of my favorites. This cover FX in Candlelight. Ooh, is she gorgeous. Then I have this one from Algenest. And then I have the Becca Jaclyn Hill one. Um, let me put this back. Let me just close it. And then from there, you go down here. And this is just a mix of things. These are just some primers, some setting sprays. I have Too Faced, Urban Decay, MAC Fix Plus. I have this one. This is great. I mean, I'm talking, you know, you can swim and, and this will keep it on your face and matte. Like, I'm talking, forget the highlighter because when you spray the highlighter, it's not highlighted. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's amazing. Then I have my tea tree and my grease lightning, which I really love. Then I have these two oils um, by uh, the candy oil and the caviar oil, which I really like. And then I have this. This is my favorite thing. I spray this in my hair. It smells really good. Get it shine. Um, it's really nice. And down here I have my Tory Burch um, body butter Brazilian thing. I have uh, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Then I have the Chanel um, lotion and then the Tory Burch lotion. I have some deodorant, some gel, and some leave-in conditioner by Wee Dad. And then moving on to last but not least, um, I'm going to show you my everyday makeup. And uh, so first up here, I do have my Laura Mercier transition powder. And I have this The Rock uh, Take Take Me to Tango. Is that it? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to read it through the little screen and sometimes. And guys. <laughs> I didn't love it, did I? Oh yes, I love it. I'm still like scraping the edges because I love it so much. I could buy another one, but as you saw, I have a bronzer. I have several bronzers that I can use. Well, you haven't seen it because it's in the drawers, but I have bronzers I can use, so I'm trying not to do that, but it is really tempting because it is absolutely perfect and beautiful for me. This is the MAC, and this is in Sun Power. Um, I'm, I love it. I, put it. I keep it up here because I use it daily, and it's also cracked, so I'm afraid to open it. 
Hold on, let me show you. So this is it. And of course you guys are gonna say, Cynthia, just take this piece off that's broken. No, because that piece is makeup, guys. <laughs> I'm keeping it on so I like to keep it up here because I use it and it's also broken so I'm afraid of it getting any more damaged yeah. my everyday makeup I keep right up here in this tray so I can kind of bring it with me everywhere I go um, I have my my blush by Mac which I use every day it's love joy I have this is the number one um, flawless finishing powder and the number two one under my eyes two all over my face this I use as a um, a uh, contour this is like my dark contour color it looks it is really dark actually but I love oh sorry I love it I use it cl the closest to my hairline um, I don't put it all the way down but that's where I use it this is my bronzer um, this is a uh, foundation but I love it as a bronzer it's like perfect for me this is that uh, let me open it this is a Marc Jacobs um, 60 hi-fi i showed you guys i just bought this at the sale love that so pretty um then i have this which i love so i put this under my highlighter and i put it everywhere this is the Lorac tantalizer shade and light by kat von d and this is in these colors which i really like um it's almost empty which is why i bought that mark jacob ones too um let me show you Look at that. It's just so soft. That's the problem with this one is that it's really soft. So a lot of it kicks up and just dusts everywhere. I have this uh, NARS um, Carmel. This is their um, concealer. This I love. This is so good. This is the highlighter, guys. Oh, my God. I got to swatch it for you. Hold on. All right, guys, let me swatch this for you. You're going to die. So I kept the, which is probably the worst idea I've ever done. I kept the plastic or the film thing on there so that I wouldn't like, so that this wouldn't happen, but it happened. And now I'm afraid to remove the film thing because <laughs> I'm afraid of making a mess. But anyway, let me swatch this for you guys, guys. This is, first of all, what? Look at this. Look at that. She's beauty. Yes. I'm moving on. This is my Tatcha. These are just primers. This is my sunscreen. Love the sunscreen. Really nice. Doesn't leave a white cast, but on my face every day. Um, I have my two brow gels. So I've ruined my life by making my life more expensive by the legendary brow. I have it in the darkest color and the second to the darkest color. Um, this is a mascara I'm currently using. Oops. Then I have my concealers. I have a lot of concealers back here, as you can see, the ones that I'm using. Um, then I have this, this is my color corrector, and then just dirty brushes that I use every day. And the thing that I dropped was my, um, eyelash thing. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to start trying that soon. And then what's cool about this thing is, hold on, let me put this back. Look at how cool. You just pick this up. I really think guys, you should go to home goods, go to the bathroom section, get yourself a tray and you can have a tray and what i like about this too this tray has this little like i guess you can put like cotton rounds but i put my um beauty blender in there because it's got holes and you can air it out you know what i mean um so this is the last thing guys up on the very top i have all of my lashes as you can see i prefer individual lashes i do have these these are the michelle visage and ilamasqua set i do have this old contour set by anastasia can't seem to get rid of it because I've had it for so long. And then I have those um, concealers and color correctors. And then second drawer. Oh, this is a doozy. These are highlighters. Um, I have so many highlighters. And I have some cool brushes. Look at this. This is like the most expensive brush I never used. <laughs> um, but I have a lot of highlighter. Oh, and then I keep a bunch of my weird brushes back here. Do you see? Like all the brushes you get from like those like I don't know and then all the little designer stupid things that come with it you know get rid of those um I have this Becca one this one's stunning this one's broken I have of course the Becca and Jaclyn Hill I have this gorgeous oh my god this Marc Jacobs one stunning I don't know why I'm rushing because I'm rushing because I feel like this feels long and I don't want you guys to be like tapped out I'm tapped out but I should just show you oh no I see dust I hate when you see that oh my god she's gorgeous anyway 
This one's stunning. Mark bought this for me. This is the Mark Jacobs. Um, what is it? Glitty? Sure. Um, this is the gold bar by uh, Charlotte Tilbury, and I. It was okay. I really like it. I feel like I overhyped it, or I was overhyped by it, so I overhyped it. But I can't even open it. <laughs> open, I say. Okay. Um, but it is pretty. It's just, you know, I don't know. Um, then I love these. These are my Ilamasco ones. Epic. If you guys have been around my channel, you guys know these. Dynasty. Like, I mean, she is, yeah, she's gorgeous. This is OMG, exactly, exactly what she is, OMG. Um, but they are stunning. Hold on, let me open this one. Let me open them for you guys. You guys need to see. This one is so pretty. I, I use it a lot, obviously. This one was epic. This is Dynasty. Wow. Stunning. Then I have some, like, NARS Duo Jubilation. Yeah, some of the NARS Duo ones. So pretty. The Mariah Carey Mac. <laughs> this Mac one that is, um, I don't know what that is, but I liked it. It's really pretty on. Um, moving on to the next drawer. This drawer's got some more powders and some of my favorite things. I have, these are all Melts Cosmetic. These are all their stacks. I friggin' love them. <laughs> love them. Then I have these two um, eyeshadow sets. They are, um, dang it, hold on. I gotta change my angle, guys, because I'm afraid of breaking something, so hold on. Right, so I'm literally on the floor, so I can show you what's in the side of this drawer. This is the, um, the Tease by Marc Jacobs. Whew. Look at that. That is stunning, so pretty, never use it. Should use it, should use it. I have to start wearing eyeshadow again. It's hard, because like, who puts on a bunch of eyeshadow to work? Not me. Um, the next one I have, this is called the Lolita. This is really beautiful. It's just a bunch of neutrals. This is like your everyday kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Love that. I have those. And then I have in here, as you guys, I kind of showed you, but it's hard to show you all of it. I literally have almost every melt stack. I think I'm missing like two, two of the stacks. I don't know. I can't remember, but the plan is to get them all and this like live off of these because I love the melt cosmetics they are so pigmented and they are just just love them then in here i have i keep all of my nars uh what are they called palettes so i have the stephen klein one um which is so beautiful i like to use a lot on like my brides because um it's very fair but it's so pretty um then i have this one this is the narcissist and this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Like, don't let her play you. This is gorgeous. Look at how pretty that is. I love that. Um, then I have, oh my God, I, can't, I have so many. I didn't realize that this was in here. This is the Wanted palette. Completely forgot I had this. Oh my gosh. This, oh, what? Oh, I got this last year for Christmas from Nathan. So beautiful. Holy mother of Lord, I gotta use that. Dang. Then I have, um, this is another NARS palette. This is the Bord de Blage, Bord de Blage, Bord de Blage, Bord de Blige. You guys, you see? <laughs> but this is gorgeous. It's just a bunch of highlights. And uh, these two are bronzers. Very, very beautiful highlights. Beautiful. Then I have this uh, Narciss, the other Narcissist, the original Narcissist. I can't remember, but this is gorgeous. Um, let me show you. Let me move the plastic. Shut your hole. Are you kidding? Gorge. Dang. And then I have the University of Bobby Brown. This is just another gorgeous palette. This reminded me so this reminds me so much of NARS, but I just I love this palette. It's just a really good, like every night, every day, day to night look. That's what I'm trying to say. Who knows what I'm trying to say? But I just thought it was really pretty. Um, then I have like literally three powders. I have a Benai powder. I have the RCMA powder. And then I have the Benai. Remember this? Everyone has this because uh, Kardashian said she used it. Yeah, but it's, that's what I got. And then I'm bringing it back around. Then after this, I have this. This is my blush uh, section of it all. Um, and bronzers. Um, 
Oh, this one's really pretty. This is uh, by Lancome. Um, I absolutely love it. Let me open it for you guys. Look at her. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Cargo I have. This is also a gorgeous one. Uh, oh, yeah. The Givenchy. That one in the top is Givenchy. But this is another powder blush set, which I actually really like that one. I use it a lot. That's what's kind of nice about these little ball things, even though they smell, like, really strong. And they're nice because they... Uh, they last for a long time. This is really pretty. I've yet to use it, but I have swatched it. This is so pretty. This is the Becca. This is uh, Maui Nights. Yeah, look at that. So pretty. Um, then I have Charlotte Tiberi. Um, this is a chic to cheek in the color Climax or the Climax. Such a beautiful blush. I used it to death and still no pan. Beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna put her up there because I'm gonna use this again. I'm gonna put it in my everyday makeup. Completely forgot about her. Um, I have this Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is a blush. This is a slight, a slight of a regret because I don't really use it, but it is pretty. See? But like, I don't use it. But I mean, you know, blush is really, it's beautiful. Um, I have, you know, remember this, guys. This was that MAC thing. I have a few, uh, like I have the NARS Stephen Klein set. This one's my favorite. It used to be my favorite. Oh, my God, I've had this one for, like, oh, my God, if I told you, you guys would be like, ew, Cynthia. Um, but it's broken. I love it. It's Thio by NARS. The best blush. Oh, it looks so good on Mama. Um, then I have this. This is a Makeup Forever thing. Um, I don't know. It came, like, in a... Like in a set. I don't know where the set is. Um, down here I have some more um, MAC. I have this, which I wish they brought this back out. This, this contour palette was everything to me. Let me show you. It was, was everything. I loved it so much. It was the best contour color. I have um, this color pop in the color Swift. Um, yeah. Oh, I have the Nars. Oh, I have to put that back in the Becca thing. But this is the Narcissus cheek palette or highlight palette. Oh, cheek palette. So pretty. Then I have another Narcissus. This, this is the highlight palette, I think. I keep saying that, and it's always a cheek palette. It's got to be cheek because it's in the cheek pile. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it is cheek. And then I have this, like, um, you guys remember this Gwen Stefani or the K thing? Have that. Almost done, guys. <laughs> then in here, I have more highlights. Oh my God. I have all, and I say all almost, of these Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have the one that Jaclyn Hill came out with. I have this one by Kat Von D. I have the Hourglass one. Let me open this up. This one's pretty, actually. Um, this is gorgeous. <laughs> I love that so much. Um, they, I have the Becca Afterglow. I have the Charlotte Tilbury. I have this Mariah Carey one. I mean, these overpriced Pat McGrath and the cheapest friggin' packaging I have. I, <laughs> these are regrets. This is also Pat McGrath. But yeah, I have all of these um, Anastasia ones because um, they used to be my favorite. Then, eyeshadow begins finally, right? You would think, oh, look at my slippers. Oh. Um, I have the Venus, I have the Venus 2, I have the Huda Beauty Smoky Originals, I have the Viseart. This is actually really pretty, but I can't, yeah, let me open it so you guys can see it. This is really pretty. Check her out. <laughs> Just a beautiful palette, right? Um, what else do I have? I have a Makeup Forever one. Um, this is also really pretty. Check it out. Um, never used it, but I keep it like, what if, well, just in case, what if I need, you know what though? I probably have all of these colors. You probably just saw all those colors. Um, these, I, these are just for, uh, eyeshadow primers. Um, I have the Manny and Makeup Geek. I used to love that. I have, uh, these three from Juvia's Place. I stopped buying them because it, it's getting crazy, guys. This eyeshadow and stuff is getting crazy. Like there's a thousand and ten. Um, even though every time I see one, I'm like, I want it, but it's just nuts. I have the Graveyard Girl Swamp. I just thought this was like such a pretty packaging. I have just like three of these MAC ones in this MAC case. 
loved this movie, so I bought it from BH Cosmetics. It's not a very good palette, but I just loved the movie. I also own the movie because I needed to have it. Um, and then the last drawer is also shadows, but as you can see, guys, um, I just don't have that much. Well, stop. Let me shut up. I have a ton, but I don't have what I used to have. Uh, this is another Juvia's Place. I have the original Jaclyn Hill. And then I have the Morphe, the M35, the 350, sorry, and the 350M, which is the matte. Um, those are those, those are what those are. And then I got into this crazy habit of collecting all of these sugar pill, and I've never used them, but I wanted all of the colors, and obviously uh, I got them all, as you can see. Uh, oh, not all of them, but most of them, because they were having a sale. And um, that's what I did. <laughs> and then I have this Illamasqua. This is like a really beautiful like silver shimmer. And I have a bunch of my little um, NYX glitters. And then the Pat McGrath, remember she came out with that lipstick crap and it came with glitters. So I have all my glitters here. And then I have one of my favorite palettes is this Renaissance. Um, so pretty, uh, great, great palette. And then I have this one. Oh, she is, She's. this is the Color Rain Queen of Hearts. You guys, I gotta open this because um, you'll die. Hold on. Look at this. Such a beautiful palette. I mean, good for all skin tones. It's just a really beautiful palette. And this is the Color Rain Queen of Hearts. I recommend like a lot. Then I have this one. This is like the Huda Beauty one, the first original one. Obviously I love that one to death because it looks like death. Um, and that is it, guys. That is it for my makeup collection. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. So that is it for my current makeup collection. I know I still have a lot, but I surprisingly, shockingly have gotten rid of so much. I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to have like the tall extra, a small extra, and like that giant spinning tower of lipstick, which I want to get rid of again. Let me know if that is silly to just do like a one item giveaway, uh, but I really don't want it because I don't need it. But I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you're notified anytime I put up a new video. Um, anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.